C. Lindelof videos thought I'd give you a quick pep talk on what, on just reading one-sided limits. I don't even want to go into evaluating them so much, but just to get some idea of what you're being asked and 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 how do you say it and what and kind of what does it mean. So let's look at one-sided limits. Usually in calculus, you look at limits from both sides, and then we'll talk about that at the very end. But sometimes you'll look at limits as one-sided limits, and your professor would want to know about that. And on the AP exam, on the multiple choice portion, they want to know about one-sided limits. So let's learn about one-sided limits really quickly. So I take a function, and I say I want the limit of f of x as x approaches c. So here we have a limit. If I add just a little piece of notation to it, I, get, I can turn this into a one-sided limit. So just I'm going to show you this here. So let me tell you what this doesn't say. It doesn't say the limit of f of x as x approaches negative c, because that's, that's not what that says, right? Neg if that was true, then the negative sign would be on the out here, wouldn't it? Okay. What it does say is this. It says the limit of f of x as x approaches c, and this little yellow thing says from the left. Or, so that's one way you could read that, or you could read it from values less than, less than C. And if you say either one of those things to your professor, your professor gets that you, that you get how that works. And so let's take a really quick look at what that might look like without even really truly evaluating. So here's what my Cartesian plane here. Uh, and... Uh, let this be our function. So some doesn't really matter what the function is. So let our function be this one here. And let this mark right here be the x value c. So all it says is this. This says what it, let, and let this be f of x, of course. It says what is the limit of f of x as x approaches c from values less than c, a left-hand approach. So what it says is that we're going to take some arbitrary value to the left, maybe this one right here, and we're going to get on our function, and we're going to start writing our function towards this c value. And what height is that? This yellow diagram right here is showing you the approach. And what I'm really doing is I'm kind of ticking off. I'm going here, and then I'm going to the next, some arbitrarily close, next x value, next x value, next x value, next x value. And every time I go to these x values, I'm looking for their corresponding y values. I'm saying, okay, this is the limit. So this is a left-hand limit. So, not to be a smart ass here, but what do you think a right-hand limit would look like? So I say, what's the limit of g of x as x approaches c from, and you have to put a positive sign here. Well, this is red. This, let me do this. This blue indicator here changes the reading of it to include from the right. Or from values greater than greater than c again i come up with some arbitrary function let this be our cartesian plane here's our or here's our cartesian plane and here's our arbit here's our arbitrary uh, c value right here and our function does that i guess right so we're looking we're saying okay first where's f of c, f of c is right here. So where are we going to approach from? Well, we're going to start somewhere out here on the x-axis, and we're just moving, tick, 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 closer and closer. And as we do, we're following. I say, okay, if x is this, f of x is that. If x is this, f of x is that. And we start to make this approach. But this approach will look like this, right? Values greater than is what we got here, okay? I don't think I'm even going to bother talking to you guys about what other limits look like because they become evident. I just want you to know these two cases, and hopefully this makes good sense to you. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and if you have questions, please ask them. You know I always get back to you guys, so thanks. Um, you can do this. You're going to crush this. Come on.